summer is almost over, and this season I feel like I'm still learning the art of simple living in my new home in the countryside. This was my first summer here, and there was a lot of rising energy from holidays, family visits, and people preparing their home for winter. An old villager told me yesterday that August used to be the end of summer for old people. My neighbor reminded me of how much the world and we have changed as humanity. But looking at this old oak tree and the nature around me, not a single thing has changed in a hundred years. Its roots are still going deep, grounded and still as the moving waters provide sustenance. And the sun rises and opens up the soil for new life, providing everything we truly need. What else is needed, really? August is teaching me to let go of all of the unnecessary things, and in essence, I'm learning to appreciate the struggles, the lessons, and the blessings that come with each change of season. Welcome to my new vlog. Uh, so this month I felt so, so inspired to create a larger size painting. And uh, this is something I haven't done since I was a kid. Uh, I used to go in my grandmother's balcony with a really big paper sheet out by the local store, like about this size. And I would paint and draw to my heart content. And I haven't done that in decades. So this is a really special video in that way because I'm getting back to that passion. I was planning to paint over this old and finished piece of a lady and her horse in the mountain. But I didn't have the heart to destroy it. So uh, I decided to start from scratch and that's great because you have a chance to see my whole process. From sizing and preparing the linen canvas, which can be so heavy, as you know, it is pure cloth, and 10 meters of it can be quite challenging to move around. As a beginner and self-taught artist, we are always facing a lot of unconscious by starting a white canvas. It can be quite scary, but I take a deep breath and remember what truly matters. The texture of charcoal in my hands, the childlike enthusiasm as forms start to emerge in the canvas. Thank you. 
We need to be vigilant of the dark side of creativity and beating ourselves down. In the second stage, I do an underpainting very loosely, just to start accessing the super consciousness behind the painting. And as I read once, artists should seek to bring the unconscious to the superconscious, and I just love that, because that represents the essence of bringing forms out of nothing and to let the piece start speaking by itself and showing you what it needs. I'm doing a grisale today, um, which is a black and white underpainting. And I'm just going through a few more details, like hands and feet. And it's been a while since I did grisale, but I wanted to explore more of the buildup of several velaturas or layers in the painting. This month, I've been experimenting with a lot of different materials especially natural elements. I created this impasto medium used very often by the old masters. It's a very important step for long-lasting impasto techniques, but I'm considering creating a more technical video in the future, explaining all my materials and methods. I am starting to play with impastos using earth elements a lot, like wax, charcoal, bicarbonate, and this is quite a challenge while maintaining realistic skin tones and values and still have the courage to experiment. Because of this exploration, I did a second pass with the grisaille just to make sure I had more freedom with the impasto techniques after, and not lose the contemporary realism that I love so much. I do think I painted this stage too realistically. I prefer when things are more loose and atmospheric, but I can get those effects back when I start using colors. Hello again! So, uh, I have to add that this month is really upside down for me, which I guess it happens for most people, you know, during this time of the year. But uh, I've been just working every day and uh, things are just stalling. And I have things that I needed, like materials that are not arriving, like rabbit glue, um, and uh, wax medium and a bunch of other things that I wanted to experiment experiment with for this video. So, um, and on top of everything, uh, my monitor stopped working out of nowhere. So now I can't edit or uh, this video. So I have to wait for the repair. <laughs> It's August, so 
This is the last month. If you live in the countryside, you understand when I say this is the last month you have to do repairs because especially where we live is very humid and this is the last time we have to coat wood, do repairs outside. It's really you prepare for winter during the summer, of course. Um, it is not like living in a small house or an apartment. There's a lot of things that need to be prepared for, uh, for the heavy rains and cold. While cleaning up my studio, I found this piece. It was the first painting I did in China when I decided to quit medical school and become a painter. So this was the very first one after decades without painting. I also found these little pearls from when I was a kid. I like to doodle a lot of patterns. I used to journal a lot, which is something I'm now getting back to. I also found these drawings from three years ago when I was just covering the foundations again and drawing so much in charcoal, the human figures, skulls, azaro heads and, and so much more. I just love going through old work and comparing to where I am now. Out with the old and in with the new, as they say. I needed a few supplies, so we, me and my hubby, headed to the local store in town. I only needed a heavy panel to press against my larger aluminium panels while they glue. But we basically tried to cover all the materials to do our summer renovations in the house, like wood and roof repairs, that sort of thing. going to glue the linen canvas on the aluminium panel and I'm only doing this now because Ugh. okay where do I start I didn't glue it before because uh, I don't want to waste panels I've done that a lot I want to be sure that the painting is going to work and I'm satisfied with it before I move further These two stages where you do the, the drawing, the underpainting, and perhaps the grisaille under, underpainting, it is still okay to do the gluing of the linen in the panel. But after you start building the painting layers, you do not want to turn that upside down and start gluing it to any kind of panel. So this is the last stage where you can still glue it. I consider this a stage of the painting where I'm actually absolutely sure it's going to work and I can just express creativity through painting and building up layers. So enough of talking and I hope you enjoy this chaotic month of August in our little farm and trying to finish this painting in the meantime.
uh, I'm now sanding the wood all over our place, uh, tool shed, uh, wood table we have here outside, um, and a couple other things around the roof. Uh, I'm basically just sanding it all down. I just hate using this mask because it's so hot, but you have to use it um, you know, for safety. You don't want this powder in your lungs. <laughs> This is just a small preview of the color stage of this painting and I invite you to watch my final painting in the next video next month. But yes, this is just a little preview of color. It is called the final stage, but it indeed it is indeed the longest, as you know. And I'm starting to introduce a lot of new elements that are starting to want to emerge from the canvas. And I always hope that the whole composition remains coherent and balanced while all of these new elements start to emerge. Artists know that this could take months. <laughs> but yes, I invite you to join me in my next vlog for the final reveal. And I hope you enjoyed this little preview. Música 
super, ich spiele es genau. Vamos, vamos passear com a prima, não, que ela é o já ali. Very close. Está a ver a cascata, não vou passar com as pernas. Estou a gravar. Youtubers! Youtubers! Já! This is very nice. I like it. I like it. And the moon. Hey, I got a beijing. finally back to work, back to my routine and uh, back to my painting and now I'm just uh, doing color layers so it's all about color. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wrap this vlog very soon in the next three to four days so um, the final painting will not be fully finished. I'll still go for one or two months maybe of corrections. I like to just look at it and just keep building it up but for the sake of finishing this month's vlog, I'm gonna show you the beginning and intermediary phase and the final stage with a little bit of color. And maybe in the next vlog, I will add um, a final version that's ready for show, uh, that's ready to exhibit. Um, I'm thinking about doing an exhibition in a church nearby and it will be my first. <laughs> Um, also, I want to add that these vlogs are now uh, officially monthly and not weekly. I really could not sacrifice quality because of lack of time and I was struggling to just uh, produce content uh, weekly and it wasn't really working for me. I like to produce long-term formats, so this is a compliment to me as a painter creating these vlogs and uh, I really hope you enjoy them. It's hard work, but I really love it. And uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe underneath on my channel, click the bell for updates so you know when every vlog is out. Um, and for updates on my work that I don't usually post on YouTube, you can go to my Instagram or Facebook. It's Eliana Lemos Art. Uh, I'll link that below and I'll post more frequently paintings, sketches, studies that I do. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next month and I wish you a delicious end of summer. I hope you had a wonderful time either meeting your family or traveling or just resting. We all sure need it this year, a lot of rest, right? <laughs> so um, I think I'm starting to get back to more peaceful times and now um, we're getting ready for the rainy season and then the cold season. So it's going to be fun here. Probably a lot of snow this year. So I can't wait to see you in my next vlog and thank you so so much for hanging out with me all this time and I hope to hear from you wherever you are in the world. Bye! <laughs>